I bought this aloe plant two and a half months ago, and it already had some dying leaves. You know, I didn't buy it from Walmart or anywhere where they were just lush and beautiful. But there is a simple way to keep aloes alive. Some people have trouble because an aloe is like a succulent. They have nice, thick, succulent leaves. And what you want to do is, what I did is I made my soil to be well-draining. About 50% perlite and 50% regular soil. I did add a little vermiculite. And this way you can have it drain really well. And then you want to make sure it completely dries out between watering. I watered it yesterday and I only gave like a small jar about that high with water, just one pour over. So for one this small, you can probably just do half a cup to a half cup, uh, sorry, half a cup to a cup about every couple weeks or so. You know, if it does start looking dehydrated, you can add water, but don't just put water just because you're worried because if you're unsure, it's better not to water a succulent because they tend to um, die from being overwatered and not underwatered. Plants can recover better from being underwatered than overwatered. And when I do pour this much water, it usually doesn't go out to drain holes. I generally like pots that don't have drain holes, but this one is fine, you know? And I have it in an area which receives good diffused daylight and it's basically in the bathroom, so I open the windows in the morning. Anyway, this leaf was about that short and already it's grown that big and you can see a new one um, right there in the center. But that's all you need to do to keep an aloe plant happy. Now, if you do let it dry out, the soil dry out completely and keep it dry a little bit, it can prompt the aloe plant to start producing new shoots and that's how you can get little pups forming along the sides and then as they get big enough you can divide them and get new plants. So remember, don't overwater your aloe and let the soil dry completely between waterings and give it adequate light and you should have one happy plant. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe!